Yes. Hello, hello. You are one of the producers of the Candy Crush saga, yeah. Sugar and Yellies, <laughs> and the three of all. And when did you, when did you decide to create of all of these app of entertainment? Uh, when, you, when, when we started. When did you start? Uh, you mean in the in the industry? Yeah, in the, in the industry. So it was about. I've been working in kind of. Uh, in, in industries close to the gaming industry. I've been in working with casino business and stuff like that and I probably started there around 2004. 2004? Yeah, so I've been around for a while. But just like uh, 10, 12 years and it's a super big APP right now? ABB? APP, APP for a mobile phone. Oh, ah, right, 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 right. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah... So can you do the question again? Sorry. Uh, okay. Uh, the question was, uh, when did you start it and why did you decided to create like this kind of APPs app? So I guess we started working with apps around uh, 2011, it was 2012, I think, was when, kind of when we Just started. Just four, four years ago. Yeah, so that's only like four years ago. I've been working with games in general for quite some time. So the increase has been like very high yes, in these has. years. Yes, it has. So I, I usually I, I used to work on the original Camp Crush game uh, that were released in 2012, and <clears throat> that became a huge success, as you I think you're aware of. Uh, so that was kind of when we when we we kind of took that leap from going from having like canvas games or web games moving into app games. Basically. Okay, and why uh, to create like jellies, candies, soda? I think it's a, I think it's a theme that most people can relate to in some way, like candies and sweets and stuff like that. It's something that people can relate to, and I think it it fits really well to do a, a, just a match three games with those kind of elements. And uh, do you think that it's something funny this app? It's, for, it's funny for you to have uh, created all these, and it's an, a funny app. Oh, it's super, say that? Uh, it's, I mean, super funny, uh, both to play the games, and but to build them as well. Since till, since all the people. Is exactly, yeah. Um, I mean, the, and the reach we have with Candy Crush is kind of unique. So, so working with a Candy Crush game, I think, I, I haven't worked with a lot more, or I'll be that man, many other apps uh, or other like games many many uh, but uh, uh, so I don't have that much to compare with but working with Candy Crush at least is super fun so what do you think which is uh, the key of your success I think the key success to Candy Crush is uh, I think it's just, a lot is the theme I think yeah. the Can, theme the, yeah, yeah with, with having candies that's like the, the, one of the main themes but I think we did kind of a and uh, an innovation on the match three uh, on the match three category of games when we when we started making when we started using uh, special candies and, and that you can actually uh, match special candies to create super big combos. Super big yeah. combos. Yeah, uh, and I think that's where it kind of like t took off, and I think that's where we had uh, some of our big innovations. And then I think there are other things like that we had. Uh, we supported cross-platform play, so you can actually play on both face or like canvas version and, and the mobile version, and you can play on the iPad, and you can play all over the place. Uh, so, so I think that was also a, a, a one a, of the main, thing, yeah, yeah, one of the key reasons to why it was so successful. Okay, and uh, talking about the music, because I'm introduced a music and fashion uh, TV show in Spain, and do you think that the music and the sound effects are important for this kind of? ABBs? I think it's super important. Super important. Yes. Uh, so I, I think like the, the feel you get in the uh, in the in a Candy Crush game with the music, it's very nostalgic. It, it kind of goes back to almost uh, like a kind of like a almost like a carnival theme, uh, and 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 mm -hmm. uh, and the sound effects with that is also one of the things that I, I believe. I don't think many people think about that, but. Uh, the shout-outs we have, like delicious, and, uh, those kind of things, I think they are super important and it makes the game a lot more fun to play. Delicious. <laughs> yeah, delicious. Delicious. Yeah. And I need to ask you which of the three of uh, the three games are your favorite? <laughs> uh, 
Yeah. Well, that's the easy one. It's jelly. Jelly? Yeah. Why jelly? Uh, because I like the competitive element that we kind of added to the game. Uh, so it's a puzzle game, but on top of that, we added the, the, the more competitive boss modes uh, where you actually play against an in-game opponent. And I think that adds a little twist to the game. Okay. And until which level have you arrived? In Jelly? In Jelly, for example? In Jelly, I'm at 110. Wow. That's a lot. <laughs> uh, yeah, but I... Uh, yeah, I started early. Do you prefer to play alone or to compete with other people? I, yeah, as I said, I'm a kind of a competitive guy, competitive. so I like, like, like competing with my friends. Yeah. Okay. And do you think that there will be like more new uh, things in all this saga, the coming years? Yes, I think the will, yeah, I think we will continue to innovate on okay. both the format and, and the kind of core game experience, yeah. And the last question is how many people more or less do you think that uh, do you have the number, the real numbers of how many people around the world play used to use these APPs, the three of us? Uh, yeah, they I, told me like three. We, yeah, I can't talk about specific numbers. Uh, uh, but but it's a huge shock. A huge. Okay. Yeah. Thank you very much. Nice Thank to you. meet you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much.